one can remain alive. If one is unafraid of change, insatiable in intellectual curiosity interested in big things and happy in small ways. There are two ways of spreading light, to be the candle or the mirror that reflects it. Half the trouble in life is caused by pretending there isn't any. Some things are best mended by a break. The visible world is a daily miracle, for those who have eyes and ears. I believe I know the only cure, which is to make one center of life inside of oneself, not selfishly or excludingly, but with a kind of unassailable serenity, to decorate one's inner house so richly that one is content there, glad to welcome anyone who wants to come and stay, but happy all the same when one is inevitably alone. Set wide the window. Let me drink the day. Happiness is a work of art. Handle with care. Life's just a perpetual piecing together of broken bits. There are two ways to spread happiness, either be the light who shines it or be the mirror who reflects it. But I have sometimes thought that a woman's nature is like a great house full of rooms, there is the hall, through which everyone passes in going in and out, the drawing room, where one receives formal visits, the sitting room, where the members of the family come and go as they list, but beyond that, far beyond, are other rooms, the handles of whose doors perhaps are never turned, no one knows the way to them, no one knows whether they lead, and in the innermost room, the holy of holies, the soul sits alone and waits for a footstep that never comes. Nothing is more perplexing to a man than the mental process of a woman who reasons her emotions. If only we'd stop trying to be happy, we could have a pretty good time. The air of ideas is the only air worth breathing. The real loneliness is living among all these kind people who only ask one to pretend. An education is like a crumbling building that needs constant upkeep with repairs and additions. To know when to be generous and when firm, that is wisdom. When a man says he doesn't understand a woman it's because he won't take the trouble. Life is made up of compromises. There are lots of ways of being miserable, but there's only one way of being comfortable, and that is to stop running round after happiness. If you make up your mind not to be happy there's no reason why you shouldn't have a fairly good time. Life is always either, a tight rope or a feather bed. Give me the tight rope. One of the first obligations of art is to make all useful things beautiful. Life is the saddest thing there is, next to death. One of the great things about travel is you find out how many good, kind people there are. There's no such thing as old age, there is only sorrow. The desire for symmetry, for balance, for rhythm in form as well as in sound, is one of the most inveterate of human instincts. Everything may be labelled, but everybody is not. I feel as if I could trust my happiness to carry me, as if it had grown out of me like wings. She seemed to melt against him in her terror, and he caught her in his arms, held her fast there, felt her lashes beat his cheek like netted butterflies. Do you remember what you said to me once? That you could help me only by loving me. Well you did love me for a moment, and it helped me. It has always helped me. Blessed are the pure in heart for they have so many more things to talk about. I was a failure in Boston because they thought I was too fashionable to be intelligent, and a failure in New York because they were afraid I was too intelligent to be fashionable. She was very near hating him now, yet the sound of his voice, the way the light fell on his thin, dark hair, 
the way he sat and moved and wore his clothes, she was conscious that even these trivial things were inwoven with her deepest life. She had been bored all afternoon by Percy Grice. But she could not ignore him on the morrow, she must follow up her success, must submit to more boredom, must be ready with fresh compliances and adaptabilities, and all on the bare chance that he might ultimately decide to do her the honor of boring her for life. Poetry and art are the breath of life to her. When people ask for time, it's always for time to say no. Yes has one more letter in it, but it doesn't take half as long to say. There is one friend in the life of each of us who seems not a separate person, however dear and beloved, but an expansion, an interpretation, of oneself, the very meaning of one's soul. Genius is of small use to a woman who does not know how to do her hair. True originality consists not in a new manner but in a new vision. I want to put my hand out and touch you. I want to do for you and care for you. I want to be there when you're sick and when you're lonesome. Traditions that have lost their meaning are the hardest of all to destroy. The real marriage of true minds is for any two people to possess a sense of humor or irony pitched in exactly the same key, so that their joint glances on any subject cross like interarching searchlights. Silence may be as variously shaded as speech. I begin to see what marriage is for. It's to keep people away from each other. Sometimes I think that two people who love each other can be saved from madness only by the things that come between them, children, duties, visits, bores, relations, the things that protect married people from each other. Beware of monotony, it's the mother of all the deadly sins. He simply felt that if he could carry away the vision of the spot of earth she walked on, and the way the sky and sea enclosed it, the rest of the world might seem less empty. In our hurried world too, little value is attached to the part of the connoisseur and dilettante. The only thing to do is to hug one's friends tight and do one's job. Habit is necessary. It is the habit of having habits, of turning a trail into a rut, which must be incessantly fought against if one is to remain alive. One can remain alive long past the usual date of disintegration if one is unafraid of change, insatiable in intellectual curiosity, interested in the big things, and happy in small ways. The only way not to think about money is to have a great deal of it. Each time you happen to me all over again, Another unsettling element in modern art is that common symptom of immaturity, the dread of doing what has been done before. Our blindest impulses become evidence of perspicacity when they fall in with the course of events. The visible world is a daily miracle for those who have eyes and ears, and I still warm hands thankfully at the old fire, though every year it is fed with the dry wood of more old memories. I don't know that I should care for a man who made life easy, I should want someone who made it interesting. The other producer of old age is habit, the deathly process of doing the same thing in the same way at the same hour day after day, first from carelessness, then from inclination, at last from cowardice or inertia. Luckily, the inconsequent life is not the only alternative, for caprice is as ruinous as routine. Habit is necessary, it is the habit of having habits, of turning a trail into a rut, which must be incessantly fought against if one is to remain alive. After all, one knows one's weak points so well, that it's rather bewildering to have the critics overlook them and invent others. It was easy enough to despise the world, but decidedly difficult to find any other habitable region. Only the fact that we are unaware how well our nearest know us enables us to live with them. 
We live in our own souls as in an unmapped region, a few acres of which we have cleared for our habitation, while of the nature of those nearest us we know but the boundaries that march with ours. In every heart there should be one grief that is like a well in the desert. Which quote did you like the most? Share your opinion in the comments below. Subscribe and don't miss out the chance to see the next video.